welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. We are finally beginning a series that I have been dying to start. 2020 kind of, you know, ruined my plans a little bit, but we're here, we're here. So welcome to my Exploring Atlanta series. As you may or may not know, I moved here at the top of 2020, so I have a lot of exploring to do. I got places to see, and I just feel like there are a lot of little pockets in the city, maybe even just slightly out of Atlanta as well, that are just really cool places to shop, eat, do stuff, entertainment, whatever. I want to do it all, and I'm literally going to be taking you guys along with me for the ride. So right now is like the perfect time because my mom is actually here with me she's visiting me for a couple of weeks and we're both also vaccinated as well so we feel a little bit more comfortable kind of going out and exploring a little bit obviously you know we're still gonna be wearing our masks still gonna be sanitizing and social distancing all the things that being as safe as possible so yeah, for this first episode, I'm going to be taking you guys along with my mom and I for like a week or so as we just do fun things in Atlanta. So it should be fun. I'm very excited. Hershey is not very excited because <laughs> she's going to have to stay home. But I'm excited! <laughs> so what day is it? It is Monday and it's 12.01. We literally have not eaten, nothing like that. So I'm going to look up a cute little like breakfast place or something for us to go to. I don't want to go to the basic IHOP. I want to try places that are like... Atlanta places, you know what I mean? No more of the boring franchises, so I'm gonna look that up. My brow lady actually gave me a couple of suggestions the other day, which is really nice. Let's see, I definitely wanna go to Pont City Market at some point. There's just so many places. The Black History Museum, Ugh, I just, we just gotta go ahead and get this started. Let's, let's just go. So this is my mom. Hi guys. Look, we're twinsies, <laughs> forever twinsies. Where am I looking? <laughs> Look right here. This is where oh, the camera okay. is. Right. Fancy. We're both we're both in black today, so that's cute. Um, so we're getting ready to head out. We're gonna go to Egg Harbor Cafe and have some brunch, right? Yeah. We're both gonna get the same thing: chicken and waffles. Oh yeah, here she is. Hi. Yes. Thursday. <laughs> a couple of days have passed now. Um, the last few days were pretty boring, I would say. We didn't really do much other than like a little bit of shopping here and there. And then we did a lot of work around the house that just needed to be done. I'm taking advantage of my mom being here. It's great. Um, but yeah, so today we actually wanted to have fun. We are going to check out the Martin Luther King Museum. I cannot wait. Apparently there's like a brand new one. So cannot wait and especially to take you guys along with me for that right next door or like very nearby there is the georgia aquarium as well my mom said she kind of wanted to go to places that i've never been to and i've been there but she hasn't been there so i'm like let's just go it's really really nice it's cute the otters are my favorite there <laughs> so um hopefully i can take you guys along for that as well so yeah today is going to be more about just having fun less shopping less less in the mall we did all that we got that stuff out of the way now it's time to turn up and have some fun we're here at the aquarium so excited to check it out i cannot wait to see the otters yeah they're so cute <laughs>
style. to the Martin Luther King Museum National Park thingy. But it's closed, which makes me so sad because that's what I was most excited about for today. Um, but we had a good time, we had a great time. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do next. Maybe we have some time to head over to Pond City Market. Wow, we can even sit down and have some tacos. Uh, will you eat tacos with me today or are you still having a taco? <gasps> There's a ramen bar! <laughs> oh. The foodie in me is very happy. <laughs> Let's get this Home Depot out of the way and maybe... Would you go to a ramen bar or do you feel Mexican? Or What's a ramen bar? Ramen! Like ramen. You know like the Asian ramen though? Like not... Don't think of the supermarket oh. ramen. Like actual... I've never rice. done that before so I'll try it. Let's do it. Yeah. Your life will be changed. I don't think I've ever been to a ramen bar, but I've gotten ramen from a like. I don't nice really eat Asian ramen, place. but it's, ramen noodle is college food. Exactly, and I'm telling you, that's not what it is. Jamaicans don't eat ramen. Mom, it's it's noodle soup. Jamaicans have noodles in their soup sometimes. Uh, we eat a red bean soup, but I will try a ramen. It's okay. It's gonna be really good. We'll and they probably, they probably have dumplings in there too. Let's hurry up and go our, in and out our, of Home Depot because I'm ready. What what kind of dumplings? Spinners? No, not spinners. <laughs> spinners, Asian. not spinners. 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 <laughs> anyway, I'll try it. Yeah. Let's see. I know it won't be better than red bean soup though. I bet but you it will. We'll see. I bet you it will. <sighs> oh my God. Let's hurry up, do Home Depot, and then it's lit. <laughs> Are you excited by your soup right now? Yes! Oh my god! And she was talking Ooh. smack. It looks so good. It's a lot. It's a lot. I got fried Cheers. onions in my. Cheers. Cheers. I got ginger in mine. Mm. <laughs> So good. Mm. Mm. Ugh. I'm so full. Are you so full? Super full. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was delightful. <laughs> wow. So we actually have to head home now. I definitely want to come back though to Pond City Market and actually experience it more. So I think we might actually come back like tomorrow morning and walk around all day window shop maybe splurge a little bit and um yeah because it's like it's like a whole vibe out here and this is only it's only like one little small part of pond city market so i'm excited for that tomorrow we can probably find a cute little lunch spot tomorrow like a random yeah. i belong i belong to you i belong i belong to you so we're back at Pond City Market. Right now we are inside an Italian restaurant slash wine bar. Very excited. Wine is one of my favorite things ever. Um, we're also gonna order lunch. Um, we also don't have like too much time today, but we did a little bit of walking around and it is absolutely beautiful. We're having a great time, right? Are you having a great time? Look at all that wine behind you. <laughs>
tell me how we're just noticing that it says pay for parking upon arrival and that towing is enforced. Like I literally did not see those signs. But thank Jesus, we back. The sign is right there, but it's so easy to miss it. Hi guys. Okay, so it's the last stop. And this is specifically for my mom who loves to watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Who's, whose restaurant is this? Candy, Candy and Todd. Candy <laughs> and Todd. Called Blaze. It's a steak and seafood restaurant. So we're yes. very excited. We're outside right now. So this is going to be the last stop on our little Exploring Atlanta tour. I've seen good reviews and I've seen kind of bad reviews as well. But I think... I know I'm going to love it. <laughs> She's so excited. Um, so yeah, let's go. future Liz here. I just want to explain what's going on right here right now. It's pretty loud in the restaurants, so it was really hard to hear, but basically what happened was first we were seated at literally the worst table in the restaurant. We're not usually picky people, but we were expecting like fine dining, which is what it said on the website. So when we sat down, we were like facing a bar and facing the kitchen. We're kind of like, mm. But anyways, we were just like, all right, let's just get some wine and get some food. We ordered Cabernet. They have two types and it took him about 15 minutes to come back and tell us that they didn't have the Cabernet we wanted. We ordered another one and he came back again another 10 minutes later saying they didn't have that one either. So anyways, with being disappointed with the wine, we then tried to see if we could get a better table. The restaurant wasn't really that full, so we had hoped that we could, but after asking two different people, they said no so my mom was at this point very very disappointed she was so excited and then it was just not great at all so then we started to leave and then this happened hey well thank you for trying Sorry, I know you just left and I want to ask, son, anything that I can help in regards to the situation? I am such fans of Absolutely. Candy and Todd and, yes. and we thought we would come and um, yeah. I'm, support I'm, it. And yeah. Well, I, well let, me, let, me first, let, me, let me be the first to humbly apologize to you for your experience. I am um, I'm the newly uh, hired GM. I just, my, say, today is my first day. Okay. So the reality of it is, is that I can't change everything overnight. Yeah. But that's the reason I want to talk to you, beautiful ladies, because I want to understand what happened. Because you should never have to go through that. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get a cabernet at a restaurant that you eat steak. First of all, exactly. you should be able to make a reservation right. and exactly. get a table. That we you were literally so Absolutely. excited, so, and then so I, I humbly apologize. But there's some things that we're changing, and I'm, okay. I'm going to get there. And I, all I can do is just. I mean, I know you don't want to stay now, but I just. Ask maybe you can try to come back one other time so I can show you the changes that we actually are making and to the point where things are going to be a lot different when we show back up. Do you feel like you would be able to enjoy it better if we had a better table? If we had a better table, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. We appreciate it. I appreciate you for giving us a second chance. Yeah. Thank you. We got a new table, y'all. We got a new table and it is so much better. Completely new experience. And it's really nice. It's like cute. It's just cute. <laughs> What do you think? Are you happier now? Happier now. <laughs> we got our drinks. Cheers. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like they're trying to make everything up to us, which is really sweet. I really appreciate it. They just brought us out dessert. Didn't ask us, you know, they just said, here you go, here's some dessert. This is a triple chocolate cake. And then this is actually a red velvet cheesecake. You had the cheesecake, how is it? It's good. It's good, and the chocolate is actually really good. It has dark chocolate, so I don't know if you're gonna like it, but it tastes yeah, I like it. really good. Okay, so now that we're home, quick recap on Blaze. Bottom line, zero out of 10. <laughs> Would not recommend. So mom. What did you think? I was so disappointed because I love Candy and Todd. So I just thought it was going to be amazing. And I feel like we're reasonable people. Yeah. Like it like we're not usually picky yeah, or to yeah. be like, oh, change this, change yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we're not like yeah. that at all. Yeah. So for us to have to keep mentioning like 
Oh, my steak is actually cooked and almost burnt. Which is how I like it. Which so I thought the steak was like, yes. You know what was crazy though? On the menu, the reason why she didn't get a steak because she likes hers literally almost burnt, like well yeah, done. Yeah, I like mine. But burnt. literally on the menu, it says they cannot guarantee that the steak will be like medium well or above. Right. But what did my so steak So that's come? why I didn't order it because I was like, okay, so they can't guarantee my well done steak. Exactly. So I'm not going to order a steak. So I didn't order it. But then they brought But mine. then they brought hers. Fully, and it like was not even well done. Not even a little bit of paint. Not even a little bit. It was just Which I cooked was all the way through. Mm -mm. I would put the restaurant based on the ambiance and everything else. I would put this in the category of Outback. Honestly, like the whole time I'm literally comparing it to Outback because they had the TVs like it's sports. They had the big old bar that you could sit at if you wanted to eat. It felt very sports. 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 <laughs> sports board. But like a sports bar. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I think I think overall though I would say that it's our expectations that just We're disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. We, we had our expectations like up here for the ambiance, for fine dining. It says fine, fine dining, dining on the restaurant. And it ended up being like a sports bar. Like a, a nice sports bar. I still love Candy and Todd. And I think that they will fix everything and oh boy, it needs to big up to the staff okay that's the one big up big up big up that was the one bright spot the staff he was super nice um that was the best part of tonight honestly was the desserts and the way that the staff treated my lobster us. was good the lobster, like the lobster with jambalaya rice yeah but how about everywhere else that we went we went to the aquarium. Twelve yeah, out of ten the recommend. Was good. It was amazing. Yeah. Um. Where else did we go? Pond City Market. Twelve out of ten recommend. Yes. Amazing. Must. Must um, go. Um, I think everywhere else we had a really good time. The ramen yeah. bar was amazing at Pond City Market. The ramen Market. bar. Oh my God, that's so good. It was really nice. Everywhere else was good. It was really yeah. nice. So yeah, those are our recommendations everywhere except for unfortunately, <laughs> place. We twelve out of ten recommend. Um, but yeah, thank you for following along with us. We really enjoyed this. I'm so excited to finally be starting this series that I've been dying to start. Get ready for much more. I hope you guys are enjoying this. And if you are, make sure you comment below and let me know because I will continue to come through. I'm a foodie. I like to have fun. I like to shop. And I just want to explore all the things. All of it. And yes, I will catch you in the next video. Bye. Peace out. <laughs>